This technology is breathtaking because the robot can stay down for hours. And this is a recent, I went back with my big one I'm gonna tell you about, my, my, my big knobby that I have now. And I had a ball. I, I spent days and days and days underwater without coming up, exploring the Titanic, taking hundreds and hundreds of hours of high definition footage, and I never touched it. I never heard it. I didn't take it. I stayed, I could hover just centimeters away and look very close and never touch the Titanic. I went on for hours and hours. I, I can draw the Titanic from memory, from all the hours I spent exploring. And in my inner space center, I have a room that connects our ships to the outside world. I call it the inner space center. And it's connected on what's called Internet 2. Have your teachers tell you about this new Internet. It's going to revolutionize your life because with Internet 2, you can move your spirits around in high fidelity. And that's how we can network science. This person is not on the ship. They're actually in a university participating with their spirits. We have built now 50 of these all around the United States and around the world. And this is our amazing capability. Let me show you how I'm using that, and then we're going to talk about some questions. So here is how I use it. So I'm home with my daughter and my son, and we're having some clams, believe it or not. Not the yucky ones, the good clams. And 5,000 miles away, my team is in hot pursuit. My students are out there exploring, and they found an ancient shipwreck. And they call me, and I get in my car, and I drive, because I can put it on my iPhone or my cell phone. I can put it on my laptops and put it in. You know, I, don't, I can be anywhere I want, and they'll call me and say, look at your iPhone. And then I come in, and my students are all getting ready. They're all watching. Now my students are sure getting excited. The word's out. Something's hot. Something's going on. And I come in, and I sit down with my students, and I say, so what do you got? They say, we found a shipwreck. We think it's... 500 BC from the classical period, and we're exploring it. And even though it's shallow, we found a ship yesterday that had no wood, but then we found this one, and there's wood. And we said, well, let's explore it a little more. And we came in, you see the wood, and we came in there, and you know what we saw? Human remains. Human remains from the ancient mariners 500 BC, complete with all their DNA. Isn't that cool? Yeah.